Led Zeppelin, the first album. Uh, let's see, uh, non hip hop. Um, is this by artwork? Yes. Beatles, rubber, rubber soul. And uh, let's see. Third one, third one, third one. Um, it's an Earth, Wind, and Fire cover. I can't remember which album it was, though. Might have been their first one, though. That's a pretty trippy, trippy album covers. One with um, <clears throat> Reasons on there. Yeah, Reasons. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that album cover was, was a classic. I mean, it used to be hung up in everybody's bedroom. Yeah. Yeah, that was dope. You got top three, um, top three non-hip-hop album covers you like? It caught your eye, Lesto. Who, me? Yeah. Uh, mm, can't think off the top. Maybe some James Brown covers. He always has some. Parliament covers. Funkadelics. Yeah. yeah. Got to go with one of them. They used yeah. to have some crazy album covers. For sure. What about you, Sam? One that I, I can't think of all, all of my three top three, but one that, that comes to mind right away is um, uh, the Kiss Destroyer album cover. Hmm. That one's pretty fly with the, with them in the action pose and shit, you know? Awesome. Yeah. How about you, Trace? You got... I would have to say, like, uh, the Journey albums were always dope artwork. The, a lot of the, the older Journey albums. And then also, uh, <coughs> growing up in San Francisco, I was around a lot of all that uh, Grateful Dead art. All their album covers were yeah. pretty dope. The skeleton skulls with the roses and that kind of shit. So those, kinda, those were always the ones that art-wise always kind of struck me. 